Did you get that while serving as a Navy SEAL, Agent Orange? Well, anybody that served in Vietnam just better, but it got in, got exposed to Agent Orange. What's your name again? Don Shipley. I've seen you on TV. <laughs> Ain't they all? We We're had a Navy. party. We're in the Navy. Oh, yet. no. We didn't have a party. We were in the Navy. <laughs> Just come on. Stop. I want a divorce. We're, that'll cost both of us. We can't do that. Won't cost me. <laughs> I've got some shit on you. That's what I always told her. If, if you see me coming through the field with a muddy pair of boots and a shovel over my shoulder, know damn well I've got it dug and you're about to go in it. So. Chill the fuck out. Yeah, and that's when I shoot you right between the eyes before you hit the back porch. They'll never find you in the swamps around here. All right. <laughs> oh, God, what's that look for? Calm down. Hey, evil eye one. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay. We're in a Navy together. Yes. <laughs> It is 1973 in Chicago when a World War II veteran and his wife are watching the evening news when the husband elbows her and says, look, that's our son on TV being arrested by the FBI for impersonating an officer. What their son, Thomas Eugene Partick, did was contact the Playboy Club in Chicago and told them that they had a prisoner of war that was on his way to an army hospital and was stopping through Chicago and his big dream for all his service was to meet the 1965 Playmate of the Year, Joe Collins. Joe Collins, a beautiful woman, was a huge supporter of the USO and the Playboy Club agreed. Uh, they set Partick up with a room, all his meals, all his drinks and a date with Joe Collins, who explains that she was in tears over this guy's story of his service and that all he wanted to do now that he was done with the war was to find a, a woman and settle down and get married. Problem was, he was already married and the, the gal lived just a couple of miles up the road in Chicago and he had a two and a half year old daughter. The father, uh, a very cool uh, guy apparently, uh, explained that he thought a year in prison uh, was very just punishment for his son, that he was ashamed and embarrassed that he would impersonate a prisoner of war. Forty years later, the only thing that's changed is his story has gotten better. Uh, he is in a retirement community in uh, Dallas, Texas, and has all his fellow vets uh, buffaloed with his uh, bullshit claims of uh, six years service in Vietnam, a Navy SEAL, helicopter pilot, jet pilot off a of carrier's prisoner of war, uh, all that stuff. Uh, you were a Navy SEAL captain, a helicopter pilot? Yes. Could you uh, tell me anything about that? Uh, your SEAL time, oh, I don't want to dulge into question. anything that's classified, but... Everything we did was classified. First and SEALs before I ever went in the Navy. I went to the Navy in 1963. Well, I went in as enlisted, and uh, I went through, uh, uh, well, boot camp, and then uh, A school, and then SEAL training, and then I went through Pensacola for officer candidate school and flight school. A jet pilot. Oh, I saw something about helicopters as well. Yes. I was going through flight school, and a good friend of mine, uh, he washed out of uh, uh, you know, flight school, but they, he had some abilities, and so he went to fighter uh, to a helicopter school. And at nights and weekends, I would go over there and help him out with helicopter pilot and then I got qualified 
fantastic. And then uh, served in Vietnam as uh, as that off of the off of the carrier. Yeah, first five, well, I was on the carrier from May first sixty five until uh, January of sixty eight, and then I went to Quang Tri, South Vietnam, where I was with uh, SEAL Team Two. We're in the Navy together. And we go through butts, and I go to SEAL Team One. Yep. And we decide to transfer out here to the woodlands of Chesapeake and get off of the uh, pavement of San Diego. Mm -hmm. Buy a little farm, have a bunch of animals, pigs, goats, chickens, turkeys, ducks, geese, pig, everything. Horses, cows. I was with uh, SEAL Team 2 from 68 to February of 68. Sounds gruesome. Do you remember that time that that ensign on your platoon and his little old wife come down here? And they had a big old five-gallon cooler. A platoon party. A platoon party. And they came with that five-gallon jug of mojo. Had grapes and oranges and all kinds of shit in it. <laughs> Grain alcohol. Yeah. Five gallons of that shit. Five gallons. Nobody likes that shit. Nobody drinks that shit. When we went to bed that night, it was full. Do you remember? Nobody had drunk a cup of that stuff. And the next morning when you went out there, <laughs> you shook that thing and there wasn't but two or three grapes rolled around in it. All that fruit, all that booze in there. Somebody had drunk a every of that. couple of grapes in the bottom of it at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Somebody had a party when we went to bed. We heard screaming <laughs> from that ensign's tent. Well, we get like usually on target and also two or three others, and then we'd uh, go up about 1,500 feet and we'd take one and talk to them, try to get up to tell us information, and they wouldn't. And we'd hang them out the door and then drop them. And we, of course, get to our high value target, hang him out the door, and he sang like a bird. He did not want to be dropped out of a helicopter. Of course, we had a tape recorder going the whole time for this, so it made it uh, great for getting information that we needed from him. What year did you become a SEAL? Fantastic. Did they have a uh, class that uh, you were involved in there, a training class? Oh, yeah, that's all stuff's classified. I mean, you know, we, we signed a, uh, an agreement, which was a lifetime agreement, not to discuss it, not to do a book, movies, nothing, nothing about it. You know, it, it wasn't nothing like that guy that did the uh, story on the... Uh, heard screaming <laughs> from that ensign's tent. Him and his little pretty wife was laid up in that tent sleeping <laughs> we heard screaming. <laughs> you remember that? You ran out there. <laughs> I'll never forget that. He came shooting out of that tent naked. <laughs> naked. <laughs> trying to get out he was shoving a cow out of it that <laughs> bull we had was inside that little dome that tent big old and Angus he was shoving bull. it out yeah and john wayne did a movie the green berries and then they had about the uh, bat 21 and flight of the intruder the bat 
two one was uh, based off a Navy SEAL. That's correct. Lieutenant Tom Dixon. Norris. Oh, Dixon. Mm -hmm. I thought. There's some metal water for getting the, the colonel. You guys, uh, I'm sorry, did you serve together? Pardon me? You served together with Dixon? Fantastic. I thought uh, I thought that guy's name was Norris, Tom Norris. I thought it was uh, Tom Norris had got the... Uh, the uh, Medal of Honor uh, seals were uh, Thornton, Norris, and uh, Kerry, the uh, senator. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Kerry didn't get the Medal of Honor, I don't believe. He got Purple Hearts, I know that, but he didn't get the Medal of Honor. Yeah. I believe it was there, there were three of them, uh, and uh, Thornton. Yeah. Uh, Mike Thornton was the uh, last Medal of Honor recipient in the uh, Vietnam War and the only Medal of Honor recipient to uh, receive the Medal of Honor for saving another Medal of Honor recipient. That was Tom Norris, a Navy SEAL. Tom Norris? No. Uh, Bat 2-1. That's right. Yes, that's right. Bat 2-1. Yeah. I was uh, searching uh, the SEAL database, and uh, no one named Tom yeah. Partick uh, is listed as a uh, graduate of that uh, SEAL training class. Uh, any SEAL training class, it's not listed in there. But this database goes back all the way to 1943. I signed a, a statement saying that I would not you know, any information on any operations. From SEAL to helicopter pilot to jet pilot. Right. From enlisted guy. And that bull reared up on his hind legs and came down on my <laughs> ensign. He was a big ass bull. Landed right on his uh, shoulders. His wife screamed Bloody Murray uh, in his birthday suit. <laughs> and he somehow flipped the bull over on its side. I thought he rode back and punched him right in the head. Yeah, he did a bunch of stuff, but he got <laughs> that bull off of him with all that screaming on, naked, in the middle of our field. And then we figured out he drank all that mojo. <laughs> that damn cow had drunk five gallons of grain alcohol, <laughs> all that fruit and everything, and he was shit-faced. <laughs> that and bull looking was shit-faced. He was. Picking fights. What platoon you were assigned to at SEAL Team 2 while all these operations were going on? Perhaps a commanding officer, a command master chief, something like that. Uh, my hearing is really going bad. Did you get that while serving as a Navy SEAL, Agent Orange? Well, anybody that served in Vietnam just better, but it got, it got exposed to Agent Orange. What's your name again? Don Shipley. I've seen you on TV. <laughs> Ain't they all? Sir, I don't find any listing of you in the SEAL database as ever being a Navy SEAL. I was sent this to verify it, uh, but I know there's no such thing as classified uh, SEAL training classes and all that other stuff. And all this stuff about you throwing guys out of helicopters in Vietnam, it's a, a good story. I saw that movie too, but... You know, uh, Norris got the you know, how could you uh, be a commander and, uh, you know, and a SEAL and not even know about Norris and Thornton and Carey and all that other stuff? Have a, uh, have a good day in Dallas, sir. Okay. That bull laid there all day on that heat. <laughs> we were slinging cold water on him, trying to keep him alive. That bull couldn't even get up. He laid there all day, Waving didn't he? Towel. We couldn't get him up. No, he, well, he was drunk. We threw him water on him, trying to keep him cool. You know, we invested a lot of money in him. We had. He's dying out there in the field. You can't drag his big ass anywhere. He just had to 
keep pouring water on him. It was hot in July or something. Yeah. That was one tender piece of beef when we put him in the freezer. <laughs> he was marinated from the inside out. Mm -hmm.